Hello sweet soul, welcome back to Conscious Lifestyle Coaching. Today's message is for you to take a moment and to question, and maybe let's bring into our awareness how we may be sabotaging ourselves. How are we stopping our own blessings? What are you doing right now that is causing you pain? What are you afraid to let go of? Who are you afraid to disappoint in those people that you are afraid to disappoint is that true is that the reality are you causing yourself suffering so that others can benefit and heal off of your body your light your energy in what ways are you dishonoring yourself and your needs and your boundaries and how can you make a choice today that honors yourself completely so that you stop sabotaging your own health and your own needs for someone else. Maybe just today. Maybe that's all you need. Maybe you're a highly selfless person. You love to serve. You love to be there for everyone. But are you allowing yourself the same space? Are you allowing others to pour into you and to hold you the same way that you are doing for other people? So if you are suffering, if you are in pain, maybe all it takes is a mental shift, a shift in perception, a choice for that pain to simply alleviate. Sometimes our pain, our aches are really mental because when we are emotionally stressed, when we are mentally stressed, that is connected directly to our body. So when we can alleviate the pressure mentally, emotionally, and make a choice that frees us from an energy we really don't want to be in, that really our soul does not want in this time, but you're afraid to let someone down because maybe in the past you've done that and it had consequences for you to put yourself first. But if you're watching this video, if you're still watching, then perhaps it is time to take an afternoon, take a day, or as long as you need to put yourself first and listen, listen to your body. Observe your thoughts and send some love to yourself. For me personally, the right side of my body has been aching, the whole right side, just inflammation, aches and pains because I have been overworking myself. And it's not always a physical work, sometimes it's emotional, Sometimes it's spiritual. And so I need to take time to rest and receive in the ways that only I can tell myself that I need or allow the space to create that healing and that medicine for me because I'm numbing that. I'm blocking the fact that I have needs and desires. I'm blocking it so I can keep showing up for other people, but eventually you burn out. And if we keep doing that, if we keep ignoring and abandoning ourselves, then eventually we will fail. It's so funny how that works with the ego. We will fail at serving others the way that we want to. But really question yourself today if some of the ways that you're showing up for others is actually out of fear and not love. Because you can show up for people every day, all day, all the time but really not be present, really not want to be there internally inside. And so you're pretending you're being fake. And that's not love. You have to include yourself in the practice, in the medicine. And you'll find you can serve so much better and much longer and be more reliable and more consistent for those in your life. So receive the love today. Allow the space today to take care of yourself. Allow yourself to have fun. Receive joy. Laugh. Smile. Bask in the sun. Whatever makes you, f you feel good. Do something for you today. That's the message. Again, my name is Wayne Dushin. I'm an author, poet, speaker, and healer. My website is ConsciousLifestyleCoaching.com. You can check out the book. 
see the upcoming course in October, Revive Your Soul Purpose, and of course the November retreat, Journey Within, to Black Mountain as we heal and meditate together, eat amazing nourishing food, enjoy the river, enjoy guided yoga and sound journeys. So I hope to see you there. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.